Hey, my doll, so sugar air coming at you guys today with some clip ins, a headband, and a wig knit. I'm going to be using some clip ins from the company Kinky Curly Yaki. Of course, I will leave all purchase links down in the description box. Um, I have them in a 16 inch, 160 gram, so about 75% coverage, just enough to make a what half wig with the headband <laughs> so yeah that's what we're going to basically be doing this is going to be a very simple tutorial it's not one of those youtube tutorials where you see the youtuber do it and then you try to do it and then it don't work for you very simple i'm just going to walk you through the steps and then you know everything else is self-explanatory so y'all i hate this i hate being short sometimes because my wig mannequin and this wig stand lord we'll be fighting because sometimes it's a little too tall for me <laughs> and I am standing up, so yeah. Anyway, y'all know I'm short. I'm about I'm four foot ten, so everything is taller than me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my clip in. I'm gonna apply it at the top of the wig net first, and I'm gonna go ahead and go down. I'm taking the longest um track for my clip in, and I'm gonna apply that first, and then go from longest to the shortest track to basically layer them, so it'll give me a semi layered look, even though the clip ins are all one length. And when you're applying your clip-ins to your knit, make sure that you are stretching them out so that way you don't get any bunching. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. Um, like I said, I'm taking the longest track first, then the next longest track, and so on and so forth. You know, you're ba like I said, you're basically layering from longest to shortest. So I'm just, um, and what I'm doing is I'm placing the clip-in um, prongs under Neath that wig net so it'll stick to the you know so it'll stick to the wig net this is very secure it's not going to fall off or anything like that but you do want to make sure that you are um stretching your tracks accordingly so you don't get that bunching effect now i am only using one bundle um but of course you can use as many bundles as you like i only have one bundle on hand so I'm using all nine, uh, all nine clippings that came with my order. Yeah, I really like these clippings. They're very, very natural looking, as you guys can see. Um, they are going to be um, very versatile because with clippings, and these are human hair. With these clippings, you can perm them, you can dye them, you can um, bleach them if you wanted to do so. I honestly would probably just do like a black rinse over them because they have, um, they do come in a natural um, brown color, but I'm just probably going to end up doing a rinse over them with some black um, hair rinse. So yeah, other than that, I really like these. Very blendable. Um, I just don't feel like blending in my own hair with these because my hair, y'all, I got like three different textures going on with my hair. It ain't nobody got time for that. So this is the easiest method that I can show you guys on how to effectively use clip-ins if you ever want to try them. Um, clip-ins can range anywhere from $70 up to $200 and more sometimes. Um, so just keep that in mind. But they are very useful, um, very beginner friendly, and yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and continue making my little half wig. <laughs> And then we're going to go from there. Um, what I like about the, um, and also with this, yeah, I can take this off. Because what, it's a wig, so to speak. So I can take this off and, you know, not have to fuss with it if I don't want to. <coughs> Excuse me. I can do a um, faux pineapple with this style. I have styling versatility, so I don't think I'm limited to just you know wearing it all down i have styling versatility still and so i'm gonna go ahead and go i'm gonna meet you guys in the outro make sure you guys definitely share this video um you know sharing is caring that's how the visibility gets going here with my video so make sure you guys are sharing i'm gonna go ahead and apply this on my head y'all gonna see how simple this is so um, I'm going to go ahead and take, um, remember how I said we are going to attach the um, clip-ins in our hair. I'm just only attaching the front clip-ins and I'm just attaching them underneath um, my wig cap because I do have my wig cap clearly. And then um, 
if you do see garbage in the front, I'm just I I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that in with the last two clippings that I have. So it doesn't have that garbage. But overall, as you guys can see, this looks very, very natural. Looks like my own hair, and boom, look, headband. <laughs> All right, y'all, let me y'all in the outro. Hey, my dolls, so I am all done with my headband wig. Now, before I get started on the specs, make sure you guys are following me Facebook, Instagram. I'm Aya All Day on both platforms. Of course, those links will be left in the description box along with all purchase links for anything that I've used in this video. Um, now, let's go ahead and get into the specs of my clip-ins. I got these clip-ins um, from the company Kinky Curly Yaki. And the specs for my clip-ins are gonna be my coils. And I have them in a 16 inch, 160 grams, 75% coverage. Now, that's just enough for a half wig. So, length is perfect. No muss, no fuss. This method is very, very simple, quick, easy to the point. It does not require you to blend your hair or anything like that. You can utilize any headband you like. Um, now, these headbands that I have, the headbands that I have, I did get from Amazon. They're, um, and, of course, I will leave the purchase link down in the description box. You get a pack of four. Like I said, this method very simple, very quick to the point. And very convenient because guess what? I can take it off. I don't have to worry about having these clippings in my head all day, you know, irritating me and all that other stuff. So I highly recommend this method. I did do this method on some other clippings that I, um, and I will leave that video link right up above. So make sure you guys check that video out as well. So you can utilize any clippings you like for this particular method. Um, I do have some other clippings. I really, really like this method because it's quick and easy and definitely convenient for me when I don't feel like fussing with my hair or even trying to, you know, blend my hair in with these clippings because of course, you know, we have different textures. It don't matter <laughs> what kind of human hair clippings I use. I still have a different texture. My hair is a my you know it's an entity of its own, just like anybody else's. So just keep that in mind. So that's why this method does work very very well. These are human hair clippings. These are not synthetic. They are human hair clippings. So you can wash them. You can dye them. You can perm them. You can do whatever you want with these clippings, and they're very, very nice. I really do like the texture of these. I did not um, put any product in this hair. I was going to, but I didn't want to weigh it down. I want to look very, very natural, you know, and believable, so people be like, "Oh, your hair is really, really nice and thick." Yes, it is. <laughs> I bought it that way. But anyway. Um, let me know how you like this method. Will you be using it on your own clippings? Of course, I will leave all purchase links down in the description box. Once again, follow me, Facebook, Instagram, Aya All Day on both platforms. Um, I also have some other clipping suggestions because these particular clippings are gonna run you some coin. These clippings um, are gonna run you about $200. So I do have some other affordable clippings that you can purchase, um, like these from Zuri. This is gonna be the Natural Leaf Star 3C Curly Clippings. I started to use these, but I wanted something a little bit thicker, but these clippings are really, really nice from Zuri. And do you see the curl pattern on this? So I can definitely switch it up if I wanted to. I can go as nat you know, as natural as I want to. I can get a little curly if I needed to. So I have a love for clippings because they're very, very convenient, very lightweight. Um, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and go. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this method in the comments down below. Don't forget to share this video, dolls. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.